now on Coast TV News. A slight chance of rain today with the cold front. If nothing measurable, we're now in the number one spot for driest periods. Now 35 days. Otherwise, the dry streak continues with a weekend cool down. Details coming up. It continues how the lack of rain has impacted businesses on Delmarva. Campaign on the coast. We hear from the Democratic and Republican candidates for Delaware State House District 14 and their view on development. New state police leader in Delaware, the change at the top that's happening today. This is Coast TV News Today. And we continue with our six o'clock hour. Good morning, I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. It's November 1st, 2024. And if you're just joining us, we're setting a record today. We've been talking about it, another day of dry weather. I know, do you feel a little guilty for all the times you were like, please, no rain? And I remember, we like... had, I think it was in June, we had that stretch where it seemed like it rained every day, and it, but it was during the summer, it interrupted yeah. my activities. And yes, it's all about me, folks. Exactly, well, it was depressing. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, like you said, trying to have summer, people are on vacation and just rained now. We're like, okay, we'll stay okay, inside. Yeah. And, there's and no we rain. don't get it. Bob, we just sound spoiled, whiny, whiny all of the above, right? Well, well, that's, you know, how is this different than any other day? <laughs> oh, 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 no, oh, no. Oh, oh I went there. No, no. <laughs> No, I, I, I miss the good old days with the uh, flooded ditches and the flooded fields and seeing at least some moisture. Now we've gone to the other side with the very dry conditions. And yeah, but seriously, it continues to be very dry and mild out the door this morning with temperatures into the mid to upper 60s. We've got a southwest breeze, pretty gusty at times this morning, blowing a lot of those leaves around. And at times we're seeing gusts over 20 miles per hour. We're seeing some stars, but also some clouds out there. We do have a cold front headed our way and good to see a little bit of rain maybe headed for D.C. and Baltimore right now in the I-95 corridor and back into the mountains. It's a cold front that will be pressing our way, maybe giving us a shower chance later. But future cast this morning, it's mild, it's breezy with thickening clouds, and then maybe that slight chance of a shower late morning into early afternoon with the passage of that cold front. It's not going to end the drought. Otherwise, falling temperatures through the 70s this evening and uh, quiet conditions. Bus stop forecast for the kiddos. Mild and breezy, 67. Could see a raindrop later on and heading home. Mostly cloudy skies, 76. Breezy and mild conditions. Thank you, Bob. And no avoiding it, we are breaking the drought record on Delmarva today. Over the course of the past month, we have highlighted the effects of this incredible stretch of dry weather. In October, September that we're talking about today marks 35 days since we've not had measurable rain. And there'll be a ton of dry leaves on the ground outside, which can be a fire hazard due to the dry conditions. Much of our area's agricultural business has been affected during this time, but later on, on Coast TV News Today, we will hear from someone who grows flowers, and they will explain how we'll likely see the effects from this drought next year. Farmers across Delmarva, they're certainly feeling the impacts of the drought and the lack of rain. Nelson Warren, a farmer at Rustic Acres, says that this is actually one of the worst droughts he's ever seen. And new this morning, we wanted to know if there are any effects to our health in dealing with the drought. Here's what we found. Here's some of that. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the dry soil can increase the amount of dust and pollen in the air. Also, not enough water flow can lead to stagnant waterways. This can cause areas to become breeding grounds for mosquitoes and bacteria. The agency says the longer the drought lasts, the higher the risk to water quality. And happening now, we are in a situation of concern over potential brush fires. As we mentioned, it's day 35 without that measurable rain. It's been 16 days since the Delaware State Fire Marshal issued a burn ban. The colorful leaves on the ground and those dry crops, they can easily become a brush fire with just one wrong move. So until there's rain, the Delaware State Fire Marshal says there are no plans to lift the burn ban. Yeah, and this week there have been some updates to the Delaware burn ban. It expanded to the sale and use of fireworks. Bonfires and outdoor fires were already prohibited. Grilling, however, for cooking, that is still allowed. We are now seeing some additional action taken by Delaware officials as well. Governor John Carney issued a statewide drought watch asking people to be mindful of their water use. In Rehoboth Beach, the city there saying it's turned off all irrigation. According to the Water Department Supervisor Robert Downs, the city is aiming to be safe rather than sorry. They don't want to reach the point of running out of water, so they're taking these steps ahead of time. New this morning, and we will see. A new representative from Delaware State House District 14 when the new General Assembly convenes in Dover in January. The question is, will it be a new party holding that seat or does it stay 
in Democratic hands. Neither candidate has held public office before. Claire Snyder Hall won a contentious primary in September. President of the Rehoboth Beach Volunteer Fire Company, Republican Mike Simpler, was unopposed. And both have their concerns about the population growth along our coast. It's a diversity change to the area. Uh, it's where people are coming in here from out of state, from Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, wherever. They're coming here and they're bringing all the things that they think they should have here and we don't have here. While land use is largely a county council issue, there are things the General Assembly can do. For example, we could pass an adequate public facilities ordinance that would require infrastructure to be in place before building starts. And in this district, Democrats have a voter registration edge of over 6,000, making this a challenging seat to flip for the Republicans. Last time a Republican won here, that was 1980. A lot of homeowners are showing their support for their candidates, but depending on where you live, you may not be allowed to do that in a certain way. One man in Ocean View told Coast TV he was told to bring in his sign by his HOA. Citing a rule, the man says it's actually never been enforced in the past three years. One local who lives in the area says while well, HOAs, of course, can be a good thing, they can sometimes overstep. I think if people are respectful of each other and express different opinions, then the HOA should say that's not really for us to get in. That's your personal value. The homeowners have moved their signs inside, like you can see right there, but they are still on display. And this does bring us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, should HOA residents be allowed to display their political signs during elections? Yes and no are your options to see are pretty close voting. 53% are saying yes, 47% no. Still close. Still close. And if you haven't voted yet, you can still do so at coasttvnews.com or our mobile app. And be sure to tune in to Coast TV News on election night for coverage of all the key elections on Delmarva. Cheese, brats, and the, the 2024 presidential campaign. Both former President Trump and Vice President Harris, they have scheduled appearances in Wisconsin today. Wisconsin, that's where he was going mm. with that. Yeah, as NBC's Alice Barr shows us, some recent missteps by both continue to be at the forefront, heading into the campaign's final weekend. <laughs> The presidential nominees honing their closing messages in key southwest swing states and going on the attack. Do you want to lose your job or maybe your house or pension because Kamala has the economic understanding of a child? She's a child. Both nominees in Nevada. The next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Vice President Harris appearing with Jennifer Lopez, zeroing in on these comments about women from former President Trump. Well. I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. The man simply does not respect the freedom of women or the intelligence of women to be able to make decisions about their own lives. Adding fuel to the election's sharp gender gap. I think that it's ironic that he wants to support women on his terms and not ours. Mr. Trump's women supporters pushing back. He's just saying, like, he's looking out for women's best interests. He's not going to force somebody into anything. The former president adding a stop in New Mexico Thursday, appealing to Latino voters where he's gained ground. I do eventually want to own my own house, and the rate it's at right now, I just don't see it happening within the next four years if Kamala does end up being president. Others angered by that comedian's Trump rally offensive Puerto Rico comments. I'm show support for Kamala until yesterday. I was a Republican. In the final stretch, experts urging faith in the system. You can watch the counting happen on, on video. You can meet your election administrator. As the nation prepares for election day. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Happening today, new leadership for the Delaware State Police. William Crotty will become the next chief. Crotty becomes the 27th state police colonel. Since 2020, he's managed criminal investigations and patrol operations for both Sussex and Kent counties. He replaces Colonel Melissa Zebley. Delaware State Police requires sworn in members to retire at age 55, and she is approaching that cutoff. Has some developing news in Sussex County. BB Healthcare has acquired Cape Pharmacy. The pharmacy is located in the villages of Five Points, and BB will take over operations starting today, saying it will strategically enhance pharmacy services in Sussex County. All right, we're just getting started in this hour of Coast TV News today. And coming up, more progress for the new Rehoboth Beach Patrol Station as the city deals with budget issues on how to pay for it. Also ahead, helping out local surfers, how a foundation is looking to give surfing equipment to those in need. And Rehoboth Road Work update, the breakdown of the Rehoboth Avenue project that will affect traffic and businesses 
And it all starts next week. All that and more as Coast TV News Today continues. Coast Country Cares, sponsored by Spicer Brothers, is looking for you to help stock the shelves at the Joseph House just in time for the holidays. The annual Joseph House Food Drive is Saturday, November 23rd from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the parking lot of the Wicomico Civic Center. Please help by dropping off non-perishable food items for those in need. All food donations are accepted no matter your neighborhood. Coast Country Cares, sponsored by Spicer Brothers. My dad, Mike Ramone, is a different kind of public servant. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, right. But I know from my own experience how much he cares about everyone. He's a great father and grandfather. You can see how much of their futures matter to him. And he has the same passion for your kid's future. He's focused on fixing our schools and getting teachers and students the resources they need. What I can promise is he'll be a great governor for all of Delaware. No strangers here, just friends you haven't met yet. With comfortable outdoor seating and an authentic Irish bar, Irish Eyes in Milton is a local favorite by the Broadkill River. Irish Eyes in Lewis with ample free parking, a gorgeous waterfront patio, extensive menu favorites, and the best happy hour on the water. Book our Lewis room for all of life's celebrations. With a lovely panoramic view, in-house chef, and a professional team to make your next event one to remember. Find out more at irisheyespub.com. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Ludwicki. I'm Paige Ludwicki. And our stepdad, Mike Simpler, is running for the 14th District State Representative of Delaware. We believe that Mike will help to preserve the coastal Sussex County we all know and love. Mike has always been the kind of person who puts others first. He's tirelessly served as president of the fire department. He understands the real issues people face here, and he's got practical ideas to help solve them. He's not just a great stepdad, he's one of the best people I know. Join us in supporting Mike Simpler for State Representative of the 14th District. Thank you. It is 612 on this breezy and cloudy um, Friday morning, almost said Monday morning. My goodness, that's not good. Cambridge 66 degrees breezy out there, and we do have increasing clouds and mild conditions into the mid to upper 60s right now. 68 in Del Mar, Rehoboth at 69, and those winds are gusty over 20 miles per hour. They'll be strong all day long as we're seeing some clouds increasing out there and maybe a few showers moving in towards the I-95 corridor around D.C. and Baltimore. That's along and ahead of a cold Whole front and maybe some of those showers could get in here a little bit later on. But uh, a bit of a challenge with the run cast this morning, runner cast for jogging. We're looking at breezy conditions, cloudy as well. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s, so it is mild. And by noon, 75 and maybe a few rain showers at that time. Bob, thank you. This morning, Delaware State Police will continue investigating an assault. Police say it happened on Sand Hill Road in Georgetown Wednesday night. It was around 10 30. A female victim was pulling into her driveway. She noticed a car that was parked on the side of the road. When she began to approach the car, she was attacked by a man she didn't know. She was able to fight off her attacker with a taser. She ran, he ran off. She suffered minor injuries. Delaware State Police are now asking for your help if you know anything about what happened that night. Got an update on the story that we've been covering. We now know that the big Rehoboth Avenue paving project in Rehoboth Beach, it will begin Tuesday night and it will start with milling and that will take place at 8 p.m. That's after the polls close on election night. Then the city says work will go from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Sunday through Friday. First section of this will be between 2nd Street and the boardwalk. Starbucks employees are breaking out those Sharpies again. The coffee giant is bringing back those handwritten names on your cups to try to win back some customers. Self-serve stations with sugar and cream, those are also coming back. That's good news. New Starbucks CEO Brian Nichols says it's all a part of his strategy to recreate the coffee house vibe and add a human touch. 60,000 tumblers being recalled because of a safety hazard with metal straws. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says the recall affects 24 ounce tumblers sold in August at Wawa convenience stores in eight states in the District of Columbia. And the CPSC says it received four reports of laceration injuries to mouse and hands. Still ahead this morning, one program aims to help surfers gain access to essential equipment during the winter months. We'll tell you how the Surfrider Foundation says an exchange program might be the answer. It is breezy and mild down on the boardwalk in Rehoboth right now. 69 degrees as we do have a slight chance of rain today with a cold front. But it appears the record dry streak continues. Then a cool down as we go into the weekend latest on the drought and that all important weekend forecast coming up in two minutes. Stay tuned. 
Listen to Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. We're Delmarva Proud. Prince George's County politician Angela Alsobrooks may live near D.C., but she'd bring tons of baggage. Nearly two decades of illegal tax breaks, $59,000 in back taxes, and thousands in unpaid bills. A sweetheart tax deal. Typical politician. Slumlord Alsobrooks? Records show she was caught operating an illegal rental property. With so much baggage, how can we trust Alsobrooks to represent us? Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. Welcome to the Brush Factory. Explore our over 60 local merchants and artists all together under one roof. You just never know what you'll find at the Brush Factory on Kings. As always, we greatly appreciate your support. We couldn't do it without you. Design a custom home that fits your unique style and budget with Accessible Home Builders. At Accessible, we provide you with a variety of customizable options to create the home of your dreams. Accessible Builders provided us with a beautiful home. Scott is full of ideas from his past experiences and he really worked with us on all our custom asks and wants. We would definitely recommend Accessible Builders. Completely customize your dream home with Accessible Home Builders. Hi, I'm Kim Hoey-Stevenson, candidate for Delaware's 6th Senate District. I'm running to be a voice for our community and put people over politics. I'm committed to working in a bipartisan way to protect our open spaces, elevate our education system, and ensure government transparency. From clean water and fresh air to quality education and a thriving economy, we all want the best for Coastal Sussex. I'm ready to work hard to make it happen. On Election Day, vote Kim Hoey-Stevenson. Let's build a brighter future for Coastal Sussex together. Paid for by friends from Kim Hoy Steve. Time is 617, and we are now getting a live look at Lewis. A bit of a coastal breeze there. You can see in the bottom left of our live shot there, maybe more than just a little bit. But, Bob, you know what we're also seeing? No sign of rain. No. no. No, and there could be a little chance of rain, Matt, later on this morning and early afternoon with the cold front, but I don't think anything measurable that's going to be a drought buster by any means. And speaking of drought, here's the latest drought monitor. These come out every Thursday morning, and this is not shocking that the severe area has expanded across pretty much all of Sussex County and then to the north as well. There's still a couple of pockets of moderate drought around Ocean Pines and Ocean City and then far northwest corner of Sussex County into parts of the eastern shore. Of Maryland, but we continue to see the very dry conditions and the dry streak continues now 35 days. Last measurable rain was not last month. Now two months ago, September 27th, where we picked up 13 hundreds and the old record was 34 that fell yesterday. So we're in sole possession of first place, kind of a dubious honor, but 35 days now and that continues to tick up as we will be seeing more of the dry conditions continuing. Temperature wise out the door this morning. We're into the mid to upper 60s, 69 in Rehoboth, Georgetown 67 and Milton 68. Winds are gusty out of the southwest sustained 10 to 15 miles per hour, but they're gusting over 20 in a lot of places. So we're going to see breezy conditions today. We've got clouds increasing and that's ahead of a cold front already seeing a few showers. Boy, it's been a long time since we've seen some showers trying to head our way, but it looks like right along the I-94 corridor from D.C. to Baltimore. Some showers there and back into the mountains of Maryland and West Virginia, but a lot of this will dry up before it gets here, but maybe a few sprinkles or light showers late morning into the afternoon, and you can see how this front extends all the way into the southeast and then behind the front. And that's where we're looking at cooler high pressure. This is the weekend forecast. We're back to the uh, cooler and breezy conditions with high pressure. Here's future cast this morning. Temperatures in the 60s with some clouds. And then with that front, maybe a sprinkle or light shower late morning into early afternoon. Probably highs late morning and then falling as we go into the afternoon hours. And then we go into this evening for Friday night lights. Still not bad. Temperatures in the 70s and then into the 60s and breezy conditions. A few clouds early on and then clearing as we go through the overnight hours by Saturday morning, much cooler than it has been with temperatures into the 40s and 50s and a chilly breeze. And we'll see sunshine Saturday afternoon, but much cooler with highs only in the 60s. Some places not getting out of the 50s by Sunday morning. Yeah, if you're headed 
headed off to church. It's going to be chilly in the 40s and then by afternoon temperatures struggling to get into the low 60s away from the coast and then 50s at the beaches. So a chilly weekend is on the way as we're looking at gusty winds today over 30 miles per hour. Those southwest winds this evening shift to the north and northwest as we go into the weekend, bringing in that cooler air, but also keeping that fire danger elevated. Want to talk about Election Day? It's looking breezy and mild right now and dry. Looks like the next chance of rain could come later Thursday or early Friday. Right now, not looking like a big chance and it's still several days out. Paul Davis, seven day forecast 78 today and then cooler 60s for the weekend. Clocks go back one hour Sunday morning. Check the batteries and the smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector as well. A chilly Monday and then Election Day 77, partly cloudy, very warm Wednesday 80. And then there's that shower chance on Thursday 71. And let's hope it lingers into Friday as well. We definitely could use it. Thank you, Bob. If you're serious about surfing on our coast, then you know wetsuits, boards, and other surfing equipment can be very pricey, which is why the Surfrider Foundation created the Wetsuit Exchange Program. This is designed to make sure that those who want to surf, no matter the age, can get gear, also regardless of their financial situation. And we spoke with the vice chair of the Delaware chapter of Surfrider Foundation, who says this initiative was inspired by a personal experience. When I first moved to Delaware, uh, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to winter surf. And then one of the elders that I surf with gave me a bunch of his old wetsuits. And so since then, I've been wanting to pay that forward by creating a type of wetsuit exchange program that, um, you know, gives wetsuits to people who might not have access to them. And the wetsuit exchange will take place on Saturday at Rise Up Coffee Roasters in Rehoboth Beach from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And more to come on Coast TV News today. Progress for new patrol station. We look at the situation in Rehoboth Beach and the status of how it is being paid for. If you're looking to get crafty or find the perfect gift for someone you love this weekend, stay tuned for your cool things to do. Right now, pet dander. Skin cells, mold spores, pollen, and dirt are being sucked into your air ducts. Get cleaner air and system efficiency now with Stanley Stamer. For over 75 years, we've continually engineered our equipment and processes to deep clean your entire home. Your air ducts aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. Welcome to Beach Barrels. No matter where you're from, everyone is a local. Fun times and good vibes await with a wide variety of craft brews, plus our award-winning Primo Hoagies made fresh daily. Dance the night away at the best live music venue in Ocean City. And there's never a bad seat to catch your favorite sports team. Dine in or relax on our outside deck with comfortable seating and beautiful palm trees for a cozy, tropical atmosphere. Beach Barrels open 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. at 132nd and Coastal Highway. As a math teacher, Matt Meyer knows that Delaware's tax system isn't adding up, so he has a plan to fix it. Give middle-class families a tax cut, invest in schools, and lower costs. But Mike Ramone's plan gives tax breaks to the ultra-rich, which could cut education by nearly $175 million. Matt Meyer knows these numbers don't add up. He'll make state taxes fair so families can get ahead. Vote Matt Meyer for governor. Imagine a home that truly reflects your unique style and sophistication. Welcome to Bay to Beach Builders. Step into the brand new idea home and design studio in Greenwood, where your dream home takes shape. Select every style, every color, and every detail. Our design specialists will guide you through every step. Experience the unmatched quality of Amish craftsmanship, blended seamlessly with modern design. And the best part, our homes are surprisingly affordable, starting at under 200,000. Bay to Beach Builders. Imagine your home. Create your space. Live your life.
If you've visited Rehoboth Beach, you've probably seen the construction at the end of Baltimore Avenue. On your screen now, we're showing you the progress so far of the building of the Beach Patrol Station. Of course, it's a far cry from what the building will look like when the construction's finished. The city says the project is on to be scheduled to be done in May. It certainly promotes safety here at the beach uh, with all the riptides that uh, the beach experiences. Uh, it'll probably, over time, save lives. It's uh, just going to be a great enhancement to what already is a you know, fantastic uh, city to visit. In July, the city said they were $550,000 over budget on this project. During the November 4th city commissioners meeting, new numbers will be released about this project. First alert meteorologist Bob Trahey back with us. Uh, we know it's dry. It does also appear that it will be a little cooler along the coast. A little cooler, waves a little choppier, so we do have a small craft advisory for boaters through early uh, Friday afternoon. Otherwise, not too bad. Clouds, maybe a few sprinkles for Chincoteague and Assateague later in the morning and early afternoon with that cold front, but breezy temperatures into the 70s. Farther up the coast, we're looking at Fenwick Island and Ocean City. Clouds, maybe a sprinkle or maybe uh, a shower into early afternoon. Temperatures in the mid 70s. UV index is low and waves around three to five foot waves, one to two foot waves on the bay side. You're warm in Cambridge today, upper 70s, but a big cool down into the 60s this weekend and Crisfield 70s today and then 60s for you as we continue for the most part this dry conditions more on the, the drought and your weekend forecast coming up in the next half hour. All right, thank you, Bob. While you're getting ready for daylight savings and maybe checking those smoke detector batteries this weekend, why not mix in a little fun as well? Why not? And here's yeah. Christina DiRobertis with your cool things to do. Well, the clocks turn back Sunday morning, which means you get an extra hour of weekend. So some more time for some of these cool things. On Saturday, you can hit Cape Henlopen High School for the 55 Plus Expo. Delaware Resorts will host the 8th Annual Expo from 9 to 4. You can get free health screenings from BB Health and make a difference and donate some blood while you're there. And now that it's officially November, it's time to start worrying about holiday shopping, but don't stress. You can get a head start this weekend at Tanger Outlet Seaside. From 11 to 4, you can find one-of-a-kind gifts for the people you love, with more than 50 local artists, boutiques, and small businesses. Over in Millsboro, there's a craft fair happening Saturday. It's at the Peninsula Lakes Clubhouse, and more than 25 vendors and food trucks will be there. And the Delaware Renaissance Fair continues on Saturday and Sunday. It's Fantasy Weekend. There's music, magic, and costume contests for all ages. Last, you can learn how to make one of these beautiful sea glass Christmas trees that you see on your screen. The Delaware Inland Bays Garden Center is having a workshop in Frankfurt on Saturday and will provide supplies. For event details and tickets, just head to CoastTV.com and click on Cool Things to Do. Here at North Bay Marina, we know that boaters have the most fun. My name is Bill Colling, and I've known Mark Schaefer for 30 plus years. He and I have been able to reach out and reach across to each other for causes and things that were good for people, communities, and neighborhoods. I do believe that Mark uh, being reelected will be great for our communities and our families and, and things that we need to get done to be a better world. Are you tired of rust stains, funny smells, and floaties? Are you concerned about contaminants in your water? City or well, call Shore Water Refining. We'll perform a comprehensive water analysis and offer a cost-effective solution in less than 48 hours. From whole house systems with water softeners designed for Delmarva to reverse osmosis bottle quality water right at your sink. Shore Water Refining, family owned and operated for over 50 years. Call or visit us online at shorewaterde.com today. Ever feel lost in the world of real estate? Imagine a partner who transforms confusion into clarity, who stands by your side from the first question to the final signature. A professional who knows the market, ensuring that your journey is as smooth and successful as possible. This is the value of a great realtor. With Pam Price, you're not just making a move, you're moving forward. So why do you need a realtor? Because with the right one, you can find your way home. 
Blue Coast Seafood Grill and Raw Bar in Rehoboth Beach is Delaware's premier restaurant. Located in Rehoboth Gateway, Blue Coast features indoor and outdoor dining and serves beautiful, simple food that highlights the coastal flavors of Southern Delaware. With chef-inspired daily specials, an award-winning wine list, and an extensive list of ales and cocktails, Blue Coast is the perfect place for a night out or celebrate any occasion in our private library dining space. Blue Coast Rehoboth, open seven days a week for lunch and dinner with plenty of free parking. See you soon. Now on Coast TV News. A slight chance of rain today with a cold front, if nothing measurable. We're now in the number one spot for driest periods, now 35 days. Otherwise, the dry streak continues with a weekend cool down. Details coming up. About it, Delmarva continues to stay dry and how a local flower grower says this drought will affect what we will see next year. The campaign countdown is on. We're looking at local and national races in the lead up to Election Day. This is Coast TV News Today. November 1st, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pence. Good morning, Paige. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. Yeah, we're approaching 531 on this Friday morning. It was a nice night for trick-or-treating yeah. last night, but our big story this week, it continues to be that we are officially in a drought. We are. So we're going to bring in Bob right now. Bob, this is really all we've been talking about. You've been tracking. We might see a touch of rain today, but nothing really to help. No, it does not look that way. That is going to be a drought buster, guys. In fact, probably just a little bit of rain with the cold front later this morning into this afternoon. But uh, yeah, it's not going to be anything that we need. We need a good soaking rain, like a big coastal storm. Uh, not seeing that in the cards. We are seeing very mild conditions out the door, however. 67 in Del Mar, Georgetown, and several other places. 68 in Bethany Beach right now. And a gusty southwest wind. This is ahead of a cold front. We're seeing some gusts at a lot of places over 20 miles per hour. We're seeing clouds increasing so that's good and it's also good to see some rain on the radar now making its way into DC and Baltimore not heavy rain and maybe some of this will hold together as it heads for Delmarva here in a few hours it's all with this cold front that is moving through and you can see that rain stretching down along that front along with the cloud cover so we'll see the clouds on future cast mild conditions breezy as well and maybe that slight chance of showers as we head into the latter part of the morning as we're seeing temperatures rising through the 70s by 1230, you can see maybe a few showers around Millsboro and Lewis. If we do get measurable rain in Georgetown, well, that would break the streak. But right now we're thinking just sprinkles, clouds, breezy conditions into the afternoon with 70s and then clearing out as we go into the evening hours. So it'll be a, a breezy ferry ride over to Cape May and back with temperatures in the 60s. We'll see sun and clouds as we go through the morning hours and maybe that chance of a shower a little bit later on and temperatures into the mid 70s, much more on the drought and the weekend forecast coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Bob. And as Bob mentioned that we've been talking about, too, we have broken the drought record. Delmarva has not experienced measurable rain in 35 days. And over the course of the past couple of weeks, we have highlighted different parts of our area that have been affected. Dry leaves, plenty of them on the ground, and that can be a fire hazard due to the dry conditions. Much of the agriculture business has been affected during this time, but one person in the gardening business says this drought will also affect flowers next year. And in addition to this year's flower crop, we are already planting out our hardy annuals, which are flowers that will actually plant now and grow over the winter. Um, so right now they're getting established. So without proper irrigation like drip tape, um, they might not establish as well, meaning that even next spring's crop could be impacted by the drought that we're having. Many communities have also been encouraging people to conserve water during this key time. And new this morning, farmers not the only ones feeling the impacts of the drought. Weather conditions can actually impact your health. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the dry soil it can increase the amount of dust and pollen in the air. Also, not enough water flow. That can lead to stagnant waterways, causing those areas to become idle breeding grounds for mosquitoes and bacteria. The agency says the longer the drought lasts, the higher the risk to water quality. Yeah, we continue to see that concern over the potential brush fires. It has been 16 days since the Delaware State Fire Marshal issued a burn ban. We mentioned those leaves earlier. Well, they can become a brush fire with just one wrong move. Until there is rain, the Delaware State Fire Marshal says there are no plans to lift the burn ban. In addition to the Delaware burn ban this week, that ban was expanded to the sale and the use of fireworks. Bonfires and outdoor fires, those were already prohibited. And along with that statewide ban on fireworks, 
The animal advocacy group PETA, they're pushing for the state to go a step further. They want to make that ban permanent. PETA cites the impact the fireworks have on animals, veterans, and the environment. In Massachusetts, they've already adopted alternative types of celebration, and PETA is suggesting Delaware do the same. New this morning, we will see a new representative from Delaware State House District 14 when the new General Assembly convenes in January. The question is, who will it be holding a party holding that seat, or does it stay in those Democratic hands? So neither candidate has held public office before. Claire Snyder Hall, she won a contentious primary in September. President of the Rehoboth Beach Volunteer Fire Company, Republican Mike Simpler, was unopposed. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump continued on their campaign trails on Thursday. Time is ticking the election just days away. The two candidates are focusing on top issues in their last push for support. Trump at Tucker Carlson's tour spoke to voters about the border. Harris spoke to pro-Palestinian protesters during her event. The worst thing that's happened to this country is allowing millions of people in here. Two will continue in swing states today. Also happening today, Delaware State Police will have a new leader. William Crotty will become the chief. He becomes the 27th state police colonel since 2020. He has managed criminal investigations and patrol operations for both Sussex and Kent County. And he replaces Melissa Zebley. The Delaware State Police requires sworn in members to retire at age 55, and she is approaching that cutoff. BB Healthcare has acquired Cape Pharmacy. The pharmacy is located in the villages of Five Points. BB will take over operations beginning today, saying it will strategically enhance pharmacy services in Sussex. More news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Still ahead, the Chesapeake Bay continues progress. We'll tell you how much officials say water quality has improved since it was last tested. Also, Seahawks soar the big offensive display that kept Stephen Decatur undefeated in high school football. Coast TV News today is back after this. Fall into planning at Bella Terra Garden Center. Autumn is the perfect time of year for planning. Come check out our locally sourced collection of trees and shrubs of all shapes and sizes. Did you know that Bella Terra is open seven days a week? Join our garden club for big savings and first access to all sale promotions. Stocked with the smallest succulents to the tallest of trees, Bella Terra Garden Center is here for all your gardening needs. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Located right off Route 16 in Ellendale. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Ludwicki. I'm Paige Ludwicki. And our stepdad, Mike Simpler, is running for the 14th District State Representative of Delaware. We believe that Mike will help to preserve the coastal Sussex County we all know and love. Mike has always been the kind of person who puts others first. He's tirelessly served as president of the fire department. He understands the real issues people face here, and he's got practical ideas to help solve them. He's not just a great stepdad, he's one of the best people I know. Join us in supporting Mike Simpler for State Representative of the 14th District. Thank you. As temperatures drop, FH Fur invites you to be part of something truly heartwarming, our Fall into Comfort toy drive. Through December 15th, for only $29, the experts at FH Fur will perform a comprehensive heating system inspection, ensuring your home stays snug through the chilly months ahead. The best part? 100% of the proceeds will go to the United States Marine Corps Reserve's Toys for Tots. Schedule your heating inspection today with FH Fur. 877-CALL-FUR. FHFur.com. 18 years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County, and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware where community matters. It is 639 right now, 66 in Cambridge, really dark, <laughs> not that dark. You can see the marina there right now. It's breezy, mild, 66 degrees, and we've got mid to upper 60s all across the area through Delmarva, through Delaware and Maryland right now. It's breezy too. We have sustained winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour at times, gusting over 20. So it'll be breezy as a cold front gets closer. We're looking at clouds increasing across the area. Even some rain showing up. This is nice to see a few shots. 
showers moving into the D.C. Baltimore area as a cold front is moving in. A lot of this will dry up, but I think some of these showers could get in here a little bit later on in the morning into early afternoon. On the golf course, could see a few showers, and I put it in the good range today. Broke the excellent streak. Breezy and mild conditions. A few showers, especially late morning into early afternoon with that cold front. Enough rain to use an umbrella? Probably not. Here's our umbrella giveaway winner. It's Jackie Reese from Dagsboro. Congratulations, Jackie, on your umbrella from Paul Davis and Coast TV, and maybe you can use it within the next several days. We are seeing a little bit of improvement when it comes to the Chesapeake Bay. According to a report from the Chesapeake Bay program, almost 30% of the bay and its tidal tributaries met water quality standards for the 2020-2022 time frame. And while that is an improvement, it still isn't enough to meet the standard of a healthy bay ecosystem. Water clarity, it's still considered poor. There's just not enough underwater grass acreage and nitrogen and phosphorus pollution needs to be brought down further than it already has. Football is back on Coast TV this weekend. Tune in on Sunday for the Colts versus the Vikings. That coverage starts at 7 on Coast TV. And then after that, join us for our hyper local newscast. Del Marva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Good morning. Steven Decatur football looking to stay undefeated while facing Parkside last night. Decatur's Johnny Hobgood drops back and slings it to Georgetown commit tribe wise for the game's first score. Seahawks up early on the Rams 7 0. After an interception, Hobgood back to the air hits Virginia bound David Chandler on the speed off 28 yard catch and run to give the Seahawks a two score lead under five minutes in. Next, Parkside driving Rams forced to punt and it's Chandler again. This time getting it done on the special teams. Chandler is off to the races, giving his team a 20 to nothing lead. The Seahawks put up a season high 58 and win this one 58 to 14, improving to 9 and 0 on the season. To Delaware High School volleyball playoff action as Smyrna defeats Caesar Rodney in five sets. The Lady Eagles advance to the second round of the DIAA state tournament. They take on second seeded Ursuline Academy on Saturday night. Over to the field hockey pitch in the Division I state tournament. Kay Penlopen defeated St. George's Tech 10 to nothing to advance to the state semifinals. They take on the fourth seeded Charter School of Wilmington who defeated Milford in overtime. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day. Tonight on DSN, we get you started with Down and Distance. That's followed by Scoops and Scores at 6. Get this, we got live Bayside Conference High School Football Easton visiting Cambridge at Dorchester at 10.30. Page. surely you'll be watching. I won't. Go Terps. Nittany Game Week. It's tonight. <laughs> Terps don't play. Then it's the final <laughs> score. On DSN Plus app, you get that Cambridge South Dorchester Easton game. And then here are your... DSM Plus exclusives. At 6, we have NCAA Women's College Volleyball, Maryland Eastern Shore, host Norfolk State. Also at 6, Bayside Conference Football, City Matchup, Y High and Bennett. At 7, Delaware High School Football, when Cape is home with Dover and Milford also hosts Delmar. All right, if you haven't caught on yet, I'm not a Penn State fan. But no. Let's go to entertainment. I am shocked. <laughs> Matt loves that, but let's go to entertainment news now. We have Movie Awards announcing and a streaming series that went viral. It's coming back. Here's David Daniel with your Hollywood Minute. Player 456 is back on a mission to expose the truth in the teaser trailer for Squid Game Season 2. It's a new life or death game in the follow up to the 2021 series that won six Primetime Emmy Awards. Squid Game Season 2 begins December 26th on Netflix. Your voice will not return. I am in control. I will sing when I am ready to sing. The group behind the Gotham Awards has announced two of this year's special tributes. Angelina Jolie will receive the performer tribute for her turn as opera singer Maria Callas in Maria. And the cast of Sing Sing, based on a real-life prison theater program, is set to receive the social justice tribute. Most of the cast members are graduates of the program. Both honors will be presented at the 34th Gotham Awards, December 2nd in New York. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel.
Seeing breezy conditions this morning. Tendles Casual Furniture Camp. Seeing some clouds out there. Laurel 66 right now. We've got a cold front moving through today. Maybe a few showers with it. Not a drought buster. It appears the record dry streak will continue with a cool down into the weekend. The latest on the drought and your forecast coming up in two minutes. Stay tuned. Listen to Coast Country 1039 and 1063. We are Delmarva Proud. Born in the stars, formed in the earth, shaped by designers around the world, and curated by Calsa Jewelers in Lewis. Paul Chen, also known as Sunder Calsa, is a meditation and yoga master as well as the owner of Calsa Jewelers. At Calsa Jewelers, we offer signature pieces to celebrate love and those special moments in our life. Peace to all, light to all, love to all. Celebrate with us at Historic Lewis and Rehoboth Beach. The holidays are coming fast. Imagine greeting your guests with a beautifully refaced kitchen without having to tear out your old cabinet. We'll reface your cabinets with five layers of high quality hardwood in your choice of color. Including new doors, drawers, and hardware, all for half the cost of a full remodel. Completed in as little as three days. Right now, save 20%, get a free microwave, and pay as little as $100 per month. Call today and get your kitchen completed by Christmas. Call Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Good night, girls. Good night, Jay. Come on, let's go. Are you ready to sew some carpet? An LVP. Okay, I'm ready. What about the clothes? Let's do it. We have tons of carpet that's really nice. We have cash and carry LVP, as low as $1.99. I'll take both. Maybe you girls are ready. Wait, was that a dream? Not the carpet guy. A flooring of your dreams done right. 877-CALL-FUR-FHFUR.COM as temperatures drop, FH Fur invites you to be part of something truly heartwarming. Our Fall into Comfort Toy Drive. Through December 15th, for only $29, the experts at FH Fur will perform a comprehensive heating system inspection, ensuring your home stays snug through the chilly months ahead. The best part? 100% of the proceeds will go to the United States Marine Corps Reserve's Toys for Tots. Schedule your heating inspection today with FH Fur. 877-CALL-FUR. FHFUR.COM. 646 on your Friday. Let's go now to take a live look at Rehoboth Beach. See what's going on there. Beautiful start there to the morning, Bob. You know those clouds? We might see some more cloud cover today, but uh, nothing really we got to worry about besides this drought, of course. Right, and you know, we could see a few raindrops. I know it could be breaking news actually a little bit later this morning if we see the rain page. Uh, it's not going to be a drought buster, but uh, along a cold front could see a few showers, but it will be dry for Friday night lights. See, we are Nice conditions forecast sponsored by DSM plus at kickoff 70 degrees and then at halftime 66 breezy and cooler. So make sure you dress for the cooler weather. This is not surprising. The drought monitor has the severe area expanding pretty much all across Sussex County and to the north as well. A couple of moderate pockets of drought to the northwest and southeast, but it's still very dry. And as you've heard by now, 35 consecutive days of no rain. We've had a few drops of rain every once in a while, but not Nothing substantial. The last was now two months ago, September 27th, where we picked up 1300s. The old record was 34 days, but now 35 days is at the top of the list, and that is the new record. And we'll continue to add days to that list as we're still waiting on measurable rain. It's going to take a while. We're looking at temperatures in the 60s out the door this Friday morning. 66 in Ocean Pines, red in 67, and 69 in Rehoboth with breezy southwest winds at times gusting over. Over 20 miles per hour, blowing a lot of those leaves around as we go through the morning hours. We are seeing some clouds out there, and it's good to see some radar activity for a change. Some showers moving into the D.C. and Baltimore area, right along the I-95 corridor. More of those showers up into Pennsylvania with a front that will be moving our way. And some of these showers could survive the mountains, maybe some sprinkles or showers late morning into early afternoon as this front comes through. And behind it, cooler high pressure for the upcoming weekend. Much cooler. 
cooler. We're looking at temperatures this morning, pretty mild on future cast into the 70s. And by noon, maybe a few showers. If we do get one one hundredth of an inch of rain in Georgetown, that would break the drought or at least the streak of dry days. We'll watch that. Otherwise, uh, we're looking at cloudy skies into the afternoon and then temperatures falling through the 70s as we go into this evening and then getting colder as we go into Saturday morning. We're looking at temperatures into the 40s and 50s at the beaches and then Saturday we're looking at a much cooler day with highs only in the low 60s with sunshine 50s at the coast and then moving into Sunday a chilly start temperatures in the 40s and then by afternoon temperatures struggling to get into the low 60s as we continue with cold high pressure. We're seeing those gusty winds today up to about 25 miles per hour beginning to back off as we go into this evening and then shifting to the north and a little breezy as we go into your Saturday adding that chill to the air and still pretty breezy into Sunday for Election Day. We're thinking the winds turn around to the south. It will be milder, so a good day to head to the polls for Election Day. Then our next chance for rain comes in later Wednesday into Thursday. Nothing substantial, but we'll take anything at this point. Paul Davis, seven day forecast mild today, then cooler 60s for the weekend. Clocks go back Sunday morning, uh, cooler Monday 69 and then Election Day 77 mild Wednesday and then that shower chance Thursday and 71. Bob, thank you so much. A Greenwood man is facing charges after Milford police say he was arrested on drug related charges. Police say he was found in a Milford Park with drugs. Officers discovered nearly 14 grams of crack cocaine and drug paraphernalia inside the parked car. 19 year old Ben Carter is now in custody. If you plan on staying with us for the Today Show in just a couple of minutes here, we do want to warn you a graphic campaign ad related to abortion will air and under law, TV stations are required to air ads for federally qualified candidates without censorship, so please be aware of this. Time is now 6.51 this morning, and it is time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pet of the Day comes to us from the Brandywine Valley SPCA. On your screen is Queen of Spades. <laughs> this friendly gal is very loving. The queen loves to snuggle and get lots of attention. Just looks adorable there. Somebody needs to adopt the Queen of Spades or any of the other lovable pets. They can be found when you visit the Brandywine Valley SPCA. I love that picture though. That's a cute one, yeah. We want to see all your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos of your pets. Tell us all about them and what makes them so special. Scan the QR code at the top there to submit your furry friend to us at Coast TV News and then watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets. We're seeing a beautiful sunrise in Rehoboth right now, 69 degrees, and we're looking at mild conditions this morning. A slight chance of rain with a cold front today, but it appears the record dry streak will continue with a cool down into the weekend and good looking weather as we head into Election Day. Your 10 day forecast is coming up next. Shower glass. Our name says it all. We provide the best custom shower glass on the shore in a fraction of the time and our reviews prove it. Shower Glass delivers the best fit, finish, and fastest service. Reliable scheduling, competitive pricing, the best in the business. They're the only one we call for Shower Glass. Frameless beauty with speed, accuracy, and lifetime warranties. Shower Glass, it's all we do. Visit showerglassdoors.net to schedule your free consultation. Swim on over to Solero atop the Henlopen Hotel in Rehoboth Beach for the 2024 Mayor Institute Finraiser. Come out to the kickoff event Saturday, November 16th at 4 p.m. Enjoy a fun-filled evening, live music, and a wine tasting with celebrity bartenders, hors d'oeuvres, desserts, and both live and silent auctions. The Fin Raiser is the premier fundraising event for Mare Institute and Endangered Marine Mammals and Sea Turtles. For more info and tickets, go to mareinstitute.org. As a Prince George's County police officer under Angela Also Brooks, here's what you should know. Also, Brooks wanted to remove security from our schools and cut police funding. She released violent criminals and drug dealers. Murders have doubled, carjackings are up 500%. She would abolish cash bail, letting more violent criminals go free. Larry Hogan, he has our backs, and that's why Maryland police unanimously endorsed him. Join our team by donating today. I'm Larry Hogan, and I approve this message. Welcome to our adventure in finding the coolest house with Pan Price. Behold the living room. Base camp for family game nights, pillow fights, and to prove my mom and dad. Look at this kitchen. Mom's culinary superpowers would be unstoppable here. Feast your eyes on this beautiful pool, perfect for cannonballs and belly flops. Thanks to Pam, 
Our home search saga ends here. My parents are over the moon. Pam is the best. She really is. Minor surges happen every day in your home, shortening the lifespan of electronics and appliances. Major surges can destroy them instantly. Smart homeowners protect against surges. Like a seatbelt, you're glad you have protection when the need arises. A surge protection system from Expert Wire safeguards everything from kitchen appliances, TVs, to your home's heating and air conditioning system. Expert Wire ensures professional installation for complete peace of mind. Leave the wiring to the experts and make it a powerful day. It is 6.54, it's time for some things you need to know before you go. Happening now, we are in a situation of concern over potential brush fires. It's day 35 without measurable rain, and it's been 16 days since the Delaware State Fire Marshal issued a burn ban. Those colorful leaves on the ground and the dry crops can easily become a brush fire with just one wrong move. Until there's rain, the Delaware State Fire Marshal says there is no plan to lift the burn ban. After several delays, milling on Rehoboth Avenue will start. This will be November 5th at 8 p.m. That's after the polls close on election night. The city says work will go from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Sunday through Friday. And the first section to be worked on is between 2nd Street and the boardwalk. On your screen now, we're going to show you some of the progress so far on the building of the Beach Patrol Station in Rehoboth Beach. Far cry from what the building will look like when construction is finished. The city says the project is on schedule to be done in May. It was in July. The city said they were over budget by $550,000. During the November 4th meeting at the city commissioner's meeting, new numbers will be released about this project. New leadership for the Delaware State Police. It's happening today. William Crotty will become the chief. Crotty will be the 27th state police colonel. And since 2020, he has managed criminal investigations and patrol operations for both Sussex and Kent counties. He replaces Colonel Melissa Zebley. Delaware State Police requires sworn in members to retire at age 55, and she is approaching that cutoff. Once Halloween is over, it's time for some people to celebrate the Day of the Dead. It's a deeply cherished Mexican holiday honoring the memories of loved ones who have died. It's usually celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. And family members, they usually set up altars at the gravesides of their loved ones. The site's normally decorated with things like marigolds, incense, and candles. Favorite foods and drinks of the dead are put on the altars to welcome their souls back. I think there's a Disney movie about there it was, too, right? There was, yeah. Which one is that? Coco? Co am I Maybe saying Coco? I think yeah. Coco. Bob is confirming Coco. Okay. okay. Good to know. It is 6.56 now. It's time for a look at your forecast before you head out the door. Yeah, we can see here, Bob, as we still deal with with that drought. Yeah, we are dealing with the drought. I'm, I'm confirming that movie through my wife, who watched Coco. Uh, it's a fun animated movie, uh, I think, talking about that theme of uh, the Day of the Dead. We are looking at conditions that are still very dry. The good news is, well, we've got clouds today, maybe a sprinkle or light showers with the front later this morning into early afternoon. Not going to be a drought buster with temperatures into the upper 70s and then falling into the evening hours behind that front. Paul Davis 10 day forecast much cooler in to the weekend, 65 Saturday, clocks go back Sunday morning. Get that extra hour of sleep. Ooh, that'll be nice. 63 on Sunday, cool Monday. Election day looking good as far as heading to the polls. A mix of sun and clouds, 77. Warm on Wednesday. Rain chance Thursday and Friday. Let's hope that comes to fruition because then it's dry and cooler into next weekend. And uh, basically, the drought continues until further notice. All right, Bob, thank you. And thank you all for joining us on Coast TV News today. And the Today Show is coming up next next at 7 a.m. We'll be back with Coast TV Midday at 11. Stick around. And don't forget to download our Coast TV news and weather apps. Have a great Friday morning and a great weekend, everybody.